Hello, everybody. It is Q and A time. Woo. Okay, today we are going to be answering questions I got from Instagram. If you have not seen my Instagram yet, go check it out at Sean Place Games. I have a list of questions here, and I am going to answer them. To see what I'm filming with, this is what I'm filming with right now. If you were curious, it's it's a Canon EOS Rebel T3. I hope that's cool. It is my mom's camera, and yeah, let me. Okay, cool. So first question of the day. It is by Ella Vibes 456. What's one thing you tell your past self? One thing I tell my past self is that always pay attention in school, I guess. Be appreciative of what you have and know that life is going to get harder as it goes. Next question. D Money Sticks. Try not to say wow. I'll definitely make that a future video. Thank you for the idea. I'm a dot bandito. Do 24 hour challenge and try not to laugh. Say wow, try not to get sad. Yes, I'll do all the challenges and stuff you want me to do, of course. D Money Sticks, can you do reaction videos? Yes, I can. If you guys want that, you will get it. This is by D Money Sticks as well. What is my favorite video game I've played on Sean Plays Games? It would probably have to be The Crew or City Skylines. That's easily gonna be two of my favorite games. Hold on, let me make sure it's really cool. Next by D Money Sticks. Do you plan for YouTube to be a career if you had enough subs? So, people always at a school are like, Sean, how much do you get paid for YouTube? Of course I wouldn't tell them the right answer because that is private information. If I did get paid, I do not get paid though. You have to have like 10,000, 100,000 subscribers something crazy to get monetized and monetized means money so money is in monetized i am not monetized i am demonetized or de money i guess you could say and not that i've done anything wrong it's just i do not have enough subscribers i do not meet the requirements to get paid but if i had enough money to make a career out of it and live my life doing it as a YouTuber, I think it would be great. Editing videos, learning new skills, meeting new people, uh, doing fun things, getting once in a lifetime opportunities, and all fall under YouTube. And I think that would definitely be an awesome career to have. D Money Sticks, what's my favorite animal? It would probably have to be a snake or a shark. Um, I've definitely been looking forward to, I want to go shark diving, is that strange? I want to go shark diving. After watching Mark Rober's shark video, I'm pretty sure I'd go shark diving. And yes, Theory, they did a video too, uh, but yeah, go check out Mark Rober and Yes Theory. They're pretty cool, uh, but they both did something with sharks, and uh, I think I'd go shark diving. And then snakes, absolutely terrified of them, um, won't pull them. Won't. Even just seeing them makes me laugh. But I think they're just cool. I, I, I don't know, like their muscles, they go like cool. Okay, Ella Vibes 456. What is one thing you want to do before I die? What is one thing I want to do before I die? Uh, I think it'd be cool experiencing zero gravity. Zero gravity I think would be awesome. Like in space, not like that airplane that goes like this and then you bomb it after. I wouldn't want to do that, but experiencing zero gravity, I think, is definitely a big thing on my bucket list. And then uh, also just other fun little things, uh, like shark diving, that's cool. Um, I want to get cool, like a cool studio, not just my garage. Um, that's one thing I want to do before I die, though. I think it would be just... You know, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'd have to lock in my answer at experiencing zero gravity. I think that sounds awesome. Very expensive. Or at least now it's expensive. I don't know, like once we get to Mars or whatever, I think it'll be cool. Uh, also living on Mars. Okay. 
Bella Vibes 456, what's my dream job? Oh, uh, I think being a famous YouTuber would be awesome. If that doesn't work out, which I probably would. The chances, though, are very slim in my mind. But I think I, if, I, if I keep working like that, I think being a famous YouTuber would be an amazing job. So many opportunities in life you can get out of that. But then also, um, I could be, I like acting. I'm very, like, a person that can do things in front of a camera that most people can't because I I don't have a live audience right now. I'm talking into a camera, but like just being able to talk in front of a camera, do things in front of a camera, I think that's just fun. Something in front of a camera would be fun. And, you know, I might be working at a baby store one day. You never know. I want to like do something in my life. I want to move somewhere, do something. I think that would be awesome. Buff Blake 08. What will I be when I grow up? What, it, well, I wrote it as, what will I be when I grow up? But it means like, what will you be when you grow up? What will I be when I grow up? Like I said, I would like to be an actor or something in front of the camera. Um, maybe working at a baby store, Subway, McDonald's. You never know where, I never know where I'm gonna end up. But I think, I don't know. I wanna shoot for something in front of the camera. Do money sticks. What do I, what do you like to do besides YouTube? I am a huge park ranger nature loving boy. I love being outdoors, I love camping, I love campers, I love tents, I love everything about the outdoors. I'm in Boy Scouts, that's really, I, I think if it wasn't for the Boy Scouts, I wouldn't be like so interested in the outdoors. But definitely camping, be out, being outside, uh, definitely like uh, camera equipment. Cameras are awesome. I like cameras, computers, just software, doing fun stuff is awesome. I just, in, in my spare time, I like being outdoors, camping, uh, filming videos, editing videos, learning how to do other things. I do lots of stuff. For those of you who think I'm lazy and I don't do nothing because I sit on YouTube all day, you're wrong. You're definitely wrong. I do. I am the most busy person you could meet ever. I am. I never have time to myself. I guess you could say, but that. Time I, have I don't know. I'm always busy doing something. Got that real serious there. Who is favorite YouTuber besides myself? Uh, I really like the Funk Bros. Um, the Funk Bros are awesome. Casey Neistat. I'm always watching them. They're amazing. He's amazing. Then Yes Theory, they are amazing. Yes Theory does these like really cool out of this world stuff. And, like their quote or motto, I guess you could say, is seek discomfort. Seek discomfort means like go out of your comfort zone, do things that are just crazy to you. Get out of your comfort zone, seek dis discomfort, and just, I don't know. And they always make people be happy, so. I love Funk Bros, KC Neistat, and yes. What is my favorite TV show or, and or movie? Um, I'll do a show and movie. So my favorite TV show, I don't really watch TV that much. It'll probably be West Coast Customs. They're like a Netflix original. They're just some Netflix series. Um, they're like a really cool car, custom car company. They'll like design everything. It's awesome. It's like those Gas Monkey Garage, the Fast and Loud, all that stuff. It's just like that. It's on Netflix. It's called West Coast Customs. Awesome. And favorite movie? Um, I really do like Titanic. Um, there's like a good and bad version. I probably like the good version better because... And then, otherwise, um, I'm halfway through Airplane. It's like a funny old movie made in the late 80s or something. <laughs> Airplane is awesome, and then there's an Airplane too. It's got funny actors, funny scenes, and it's funny. Airplane is definitely a good movie. Both of those have bad words. Shy Swaggo said, how are you feeling about middle school? So, Today was my first day of middle school, that's a question later I'm going to answer. But um, how was I feeling before I did my first day of middle school? This is being filmed on the first day of middle school, I just got back to this point. set up this camera, this set up the studio, and I'm filming. But um, what I was feeling, I was feeling nervous, somewhat not, I think it's 
I was definitely nervous about uh, uh, not being cool, not fitting in, not like having friends. Um, I was nervous. I didn't know what to expect. Um, but that was all wrong. I'll answer that later in a later question. Because there is a later question. Okay, so how am I feeling about my school after like, the first day? I'm feeling amazing. Before the first day, I was quite scared. The thing about a change in your body is just like you have to overcome school jitters. First day school jitters. Okay, D Money Sticks, are you ready for middle school? And what are you most excited about? I am ready for, well, let's talk in the past here. I was ready for middle school, but I was not like, the fact of knowing that there's gonna be a big change soon, it's weird. Oh. I definitely adjusted quickly, but it's just like, what I was most excited about, let's go to the next part of the question. What, are, what was I most excited about? Not having to listen to the same annoying teacher every single day. Having six teachers, six hours, it is amazing. Um, but I was scared about that too. Like, if I was gonna get a bad teacher, I'd have to work with them for the rest of the year. You know, that's just, that just sucks. But also, it's better because you only have to see them one sixth year day. Teachers in elementary school, if you hate them, you're out of luck. You gotta see them every day, seven hours a day, every single day of the school year, every single year, and then you'll see them in the hallways and you'll be like, okay, whatever, but still, middle school's amazing. Okay, okay Jamie, I mean, she's my aunt. She, I'm not gonna go about the last name. It is in her Instagram account. What was my favorite part of summer? Okay. Something off of school. Woo! Thank you. Okay. What was my favorite part of summer? Um, this summer, I found this thing called Casey Neistat. And this is just one part of my summer that I enjoyed. So, Casey Neistat, he inspired me to be a better YouTuber. And, sorry, I'll shut up about him, but just him and how he vlogs, how he does things, how he lives his life, it's just awesome. It, I just enjoy that just how he does things. I, it, I think it's very impressive. So like being able to watch Casey Neistat, I've watched tons of videos. I've, I'm coming to understand how YouTube works. How to edit better videos, how to create custom thumbnails, how to do make better content, how to film, how to do all those things. And one upgrade now is I'm filming with, I'm filming with this, this, and that's a huge upgrade from where I was. Filming on this, Samsung Galaxy A10e, it's still a great phone, has a great camera. I'm just going to be using this for like sit down talks. I'm not going to be like, yahoo, $800 camera, whoops, I dropped it. I'll do that with this, but just. Being able to learn like how I do things, how to improve my channel, how to do things. YouTube, or summer of 2019 was definitely a big YouTube year. Um, and then besides YouTube, I'll shut up about stuff like that. Oh, definitely camping, like I've said uh, already in the video before, that I love being outdoors. Being outdoors is like special to me. Being camping, doing all that fun stuff, it's special to me. There's somewhere in my heart that says, Camping, being outdoors. If you are an outdoorsy type guy, you would go. I don't know. And then, like going to Six Flags, just having fun time, a fun time with my family. I think it's amazing. And being able to live in this free country, it is awesome. Joanne Pick, last question of you. This is my. My mom's cousin. It's my mom's cousin, Joanne. Joanne, how was the first day of junior high? <laughs> junior high is awesome. You don't have to listen to the same teacher every single day for the year. You have six different teachers that you have to listen to for the rest of the year. Well, actually, it's eight because there's eight A and B. 
So, first day of junior high was awesome. I, I walked in the build. I remember walking in the building, I got off the bus, walked in the building, and I'm like, what do I do? Where do I go? What do I do? I'm lost, and I'm going to explore. I'm the most organized, crazy, about if anything goes wrong person you've ever meet, and that happened. So, I went to my locker, and I looked in my thing, found out what was, what was my first class, it was reading. So, outside of the reading class, like, it'll show the room number, the name of the teacher, and the time you need to be there, and what class it is. So, I looked, reading, um, teacher, I'm not going to show her last name, or talk about her last name, because it's Miss Blank. And uh, so I got there, she's totally cool. All the teachers, I got the best teachers. Even the meaner teacher is the nicest teacher in the world. It's it's great. I love sixth grade. It is amazing. I am if you go to the same school as me, um I'm on the purple team. Um if you could please in the comments don't show what school I go to, that would be good. Um, but it's it's just amazing. Um, I, the lockers can be stressful. Uh, first period, or well, getting into my locker to go to reading, I jammed it with my backpack, and the math teacher was like in the hallway waiting to help people because. And then, so like she was there to help. She helped me. She was like, "Well, you got."